Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. The summer is here and many of you actually go out on the, on the beaches to get tanned, to enjoy and uh, you need to know a few things about tanning before you do that, right? First of all, how tan happens? See, the sun rays contain basic two types of ultraviolet radiations which reach your skin. First is the UVA, UVA and UVB. The ultraviolet B radiations actually burn the upper layer of the skin, which is the epidermis. These basically, these are the rays which cause sunburns. And the UVA, actually, these are the rays which cause the tanning, right? UVA basically penetrates lower inside the skin under the, uh, in the lower layers of the epidermis where there are specific cells which are called melanocytes and these melanocytes produce melanin and these UV rays they stimulate trigger these melanocytes to produce more and more of this melanin which is a brown color pigment which causes you to get tan. Now melanin is good for your body in a way that it protects your skin from burning of the UVB radiations right so you will not burn a darker person will not burn as compared to a lighter person right now that is not where the story ends because UVA can also cause damage to your skin because it's going deep inside it can cause damages to your skin's blood vessels as well as nerves and even irritate your skin from within causing a person's immune system to react it can be can it can become harder to fight off diseases and to treat illnesses like allergies and even melanoma melanoma is a skin cancer which can even kill a person if not treated in time right so uva can also irritate the skin uh, and cause melanomas right now skin cancers are you are more and more common nowadays uh, because of skin sun exposure obviously intense sun exposures can actually increase chances of more deadly cancers like basal cell carcinomas squamous cell carcinomas so that's why it's important to protect yourself from the sun not just that it's not the only it's cancer is not the only problem uv ray a rays can also damage your skin and these are the main reason for premature skin aging yes so if you're going out uh, on the in the sun a lot then look at your parents you might just look like them soon right so that is one factor also there can be damages to your eyes causing even cataract so that's why protecting yourself from the sun is very important not getting tanned is the way to go so be sun smart and you need to uh, do a few things for that obviously you have to use a, a broad spectrum SPF at least at uh, SPF 30 or 50 uh, sunscreen before going out on in a in the Sun even on cloudy days even when you're not going to spend a lot of time even for a few hours if you're going out you should apply the sunscreen and every time right and you need to cover your cover as much as your uh, skin as you can and every time you have to apply a broad spectrum sunscreen with uva and uvb ray protection as well as reapply the sunscreen every two hours if you are outside in the sun if you have actually if you are going out uh, sweating or swimming right then you have to reapply the sunscreen and make sure to take breaks you have to take frequent breaks if you are out in the sun because the sun is the most strongest between 10 a.m to 4 p.m and during those hours take break to cool off your uh, your skin inside indoors or in a shade right before getting out again then wearing a hat a brim with a with a broad brim right and sunglasses can actually provide almost 100 percent protection against ultraviolet radiation if you cover yourself use these things then and you need to know that uh, there are few more things which which is important if you really want to avoid sun damage then there are some things which reflect the sun rays like sand sand can reflect concrete can reflect or even snow can reflect sun rays from downwards up and that's why 
only caps cannot be enough so while you are going out you know skiing in the snow also you need to apply sig you need to apply the sunscreen because you carry a significant higher risk of sunburns at that time right and and also some medicines which you might be taking like a medicines for acne medicines for birth control they actually increase your sensitivity to the sun as well as uh, sensitivity to tanning beds therefore you need to talk to your doctor whether you if you are having uh, a need to go out of the sun whether you should stop these medicines or change them then you need to avoid uh, tanning pills or tanning accelerators because they speed up your body's production of melanin and make your skin darker and there is no proof that they work there is no approval from any agency for them so you can have major side effects so this is the basic about not to get tan and how tanning happens if you really want to know how tanning is removed right you need to watch another video which will come for come uh, come later so make sure to follow the channel make sure to share share this information subscribe and hit the bell icon i'm dr parunjit you're watching doctor education stay connected and stay healthy